Hey, what's up? Jigsaw here. Do you see a screen like this on your iPhone with the Apple support link at the top? This is the recovery mode screen, in case you didn't know. But the solution for this issue is actually quite simple. In this video, I will show you the best way to get your iPhone out of recovery mode. Let's go. When you're trying to fix most common iOS issues, it's often much simpler to use a third-party repair tool. And this particular software I recommend offers a one-stop solution to fix problems like frozen screens, restart issues, and exiting recovery mode quickly without pressing any combination of buttons. Does this sound interesting? Then you can use my link below to download the software and enjoy a free trial the first time you use it. After you install the software on your computer, connect your iPhone using an original or MFI certified cable to make sure your device is recognized. For issues where your screen is stuck in recovery mode, this software offers two different ways to fix it. Let's start with the easy and completely free way to do it. Once your iPhone is connected, the software will automatically detect when it's in recovery mode. Simply click Exit under the Recovery Mode section on the main dashboard. In about a minute, your iOS device will reboot to its normal state. But what if your iPhone remains stuck in recovery mode? Don't worry, another option that should work now is to use the software's built-in iOS repair tool. This tool offers two ways to repair iOS issues. Standard repair deals with common and minor problems like the black screen of death or boot loops, which won't affect your data. Deep repair on the other hand, fixes more complex iOS issues but will erase all your data. For now, let's try the standard repair, as it can usually fix iOS problems quickly. On the next screen, you need to download the latest firmware package that's compatible with your device. However, if you already have a firmware package downloaded elsewhere, just click Import Local File to select it manually. Keep in mind that the download may take some time depending on your internet speed, as the file is around 5 gigabytes. After successfully downloading or importing the firmware, you can start the standard repair. The entire process will take a few minutes, so please be patient. Once it's finished, your iPhone will restart automatically, resolving the issue while keeping all your data intact. If the initial standard repair doesn't work, you can try the process again until the problem is fixed. Or you might consider using deep repair for a higher chance of success. Just remember that deep repair will completely erase your data so it's best to use it if you have a recent backup. That's it. If I could help you feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions about the video or want me to create a tutorial about another topic, leave a comment below. See you next time. Bye.